Rooster Nation Podcast, welcome back for another episode. Uh, what do I want to talk about today? I want to talk about offices and workspaces. Uh, I don't have an office. I don't rent a desk at a shared workspace. Um, my guess is you probably shouldn't either. And I'm going to tell you my tips uh, for working at home and some of the things I like to do to be successful uh, working at home. So the first thing uh, about the offices, I see so many brands and food startups with a big office space. And it's I see it on Instagram. Um, I see it in magazine publications. And you know they got their logo painted on the wall. They have um, you know shared desks and all this big space, and it's really pretty and awesome. And uh, the first thing that runs through my mind when I see that is how much is their rent? How much does that cost? And uh, I really question the need for that. So before I tell you about why I don't have an office, I want to talk about. Why Why might someone need an office, at least in this industry? I can't speak for the other industries, but I can only speak about this one. Um, here are the things that I can think of. A, to collaborate. If you have a team and you got to collaborate, okay, maybe you feel like that's a reason you need an office. Um, to focus. Maybe you really struggle to work at home and you feel like you need to be at a, a you know, you at least need a desk at a co-working space or you need an office so you can get out of the house, have somewhere to report to and get your work done. Um, and maybe the root of all that is that uh, you feel like that because you own a business, you need an office. And that's kind of what people expect, your friends, your family, whoever, uh, you know, you feel like you need to be in an office to legitimize, you know, maybe your company or whatever it is you're doing. And I'm about to challenge all three of those. Uh, my feeling is that an office for an early stage company, uh, certainly an early stage food, com- food company is an absolute and complete utter waste of money. And that's why I have never had an office. I cannot justify it. Um, Let's talk about all of those things I mentioned uh, about why you might think you need an office. Let's talk about collaborating. First off, how big is your team? Uh, These food startups, you know, it should not have huge teams. I can't imagine why so many people are working there that you need to collaborate all the time. And second, you know, even if you do have three, four, five people, uh, how often are you collaborating? Are you collaborating all day, every day? Um, I think there's a lot of good free substitutes uh, where you could go meet and collaborate for free. Same thing with focus. If you have trouble focusing at your at your home, at your in your apartment, whatever, uh, I think there's a ton of places you can go. That's fine. That's fair. I get it. But you can go to a coffee shop. You can go to Starbucks, Panera Bread. Uh, there are a million places you can go for free to use their Wi-Fi and work all day at your little remote. How about the library? It's totally silent. You can even get a little cubicle in there um, and do all your work at the library for free. So I think the first first thing about focus and collaboration, um, those are kind of, they don't really fly with me because I think you you can find free substitutes that aren't going to cost you all that money. Um, The last thing about, you know, impressing your friends because you're supposed to have an office or, you know, maybe it's not even that explicit, but you just feel like that's what you need to do to legitimize what you're doing. Um, Again, you got to ask yourself, does that come down to dollars and cents? Can you justify it on your P&L? You know, this, whatever it is, $1,000 a month rent, even a co-working space. I just can't justify it. I bought a printer on Amazon for 125 bucks and, you know, what else would I need a co-working space for? I got my Wi-Fi in my apartment for you know, 20, 30 bucks a month, what do you need a co-working space for? Again, I just can't justify that cost. And uh, I question the people that are justifying it. You know, If they look at their, their P&L and they're not making a lot of money or maybe losing money, you know, is this office space really something I need? Uh, so that's kind of what I ask myself every day about the office uh, and the office, you know, the co-working spaces. Um, real quick, some of my tips for working at home, I really only have one tip, and that is to clean up every day. I think when you, at least for me, if you're working out of your home, it needs to be clean. It needs to be tidy if it's going to be your office. So for me, you know, I wake up early, I get my workout done, I shower, and the next thing I do, the first thing I do every morning, every weekday morning is clean because this is my office. This is where I work. I'm in video production, I'm making recipes, I'm cooking. Uh, you know, everything needs to be 100% clean. All the dishes need to be done. <coughs> All the clutter put away. And I think that is the one biggest tip I could give um, if you are struggling to work at home. 
Uh, when the place feels messy, I understand it is very, very hard to get work done. And if it's messy, you need to understand that having a clean place is part of your work schedule. Uh, so you need to clean up right away and get that done and try, uh, try again. So those are kind of my tips. I guess one more tip I would have about working from home is decide when the work day starts and ends. Um, so for me, you know, I have my morning routine again, uh, you know, workout, shower, you know, breakfast, clean, and then I start work. And I don't stop working until my wife gets home. That's when my work day ends. That's when I choose to end it. So whether that's 6.30 or 7.30, uh, that is when my work day ends. And then I can move into relax mode. But I have clear boundaries for when I'm working and when I'm chilling. Uh, because I understand how working from home can kind of blur those distinctions. Um, so those are kind of those are my thoughts on the office. Um, again, I've never had an office. I've been at this five years. I don't know if I could ever justify an office. Honestly, at you know, even 10 million, 20 million in sales, uh, why do I need to collaborate and be next to somebody every single day? Most of what we do, we're on our own path. And we could even, you know, meet somewhere or even even at that point, if we wanted to point, if we wanted to rent a co-working space once a month for a team meeting, totally acceptable. But I just can't get behind. Um, everyone's spending money on all these office spaces. I think you really got to look at your P&L and you got to ask yourself deep inside, do I need this office space? Can I justify it? For me, I ask myself that every day and the answer is always no. Tips for working from home? Clean up every day. This is your office. It's got to be tidy and set clear boundaries. All right, Rooster Nation, I appreciate you uh, listening to my thoughts on this. Uh, do you have an office? Do you not have an office? Let me know your thoughts. Um, and, uh, looking forward to catching you next time. All right. Take it easy.